Stephen Byers, a fourth-year science student, has been learning a lot lately. But his latest studies aren't limited to just physics and biology. Byers is learning about Islam, a religion he's recently embraced. Like a brief illustrated guide to understanding Islam. About five years ago, Byers couldn't have pinpointed what belief system he followed. He was raised a Christian, but Byers remembers feeling let down by his faith when bad things happened in his life. I would always question, like, why would, why would God do that to me, you know, or my family or my friends, you know, it just didn't make sense to me. And then I got pretty angry. That was, like, the only time in my life where I was really angry about a lot of stuff. Now Byers is feeling more settled. This past spring, he was encouraged by some friends to learn more about Islam. What he found was a belief system that he says was a perfect match for his logical mind. So in the summer, Byers spoke the Shahada, the testimony of faith that states Allah is the only God and Muhammad the last prophet of Islam. Once you say that line and you mean it in your heart and you're honest with yourself, you are a Muslim. It says, say there is no God but God. Abdul Haq Hamza says one reason why people gravitate to Islam is because there's something missing in their lives they want to fill. Hamza is a science professor at University of New Brunswick and also president of the Fredericton Islamic Association. He says Islam reminds people that they need to step away from the material world in order to find peace from within. Because Islam tells you you have to pray five times a day. So you have to disconnect yourself from that growing and fast-pacing life. The idea of peace is integral to Islam's message, a message that is twofold. First, a Muslim is called to submit to God, and then through that submission comes peace. Hamza says the only way to achieve peace outside is to achieve peace inside, through the will of God. It's like a, a growing piece of coal. Uh, if, if you look at it, when it's not lit, then it's just dark. When it's lit, then the darkness disappears. And it's just a source of light. The other major duties that are required in Islam can strengthen a Muslim's commitment to God and to peace. They include praying five times a day and reading Allah's Book of Revelations, the Quran, fasting in daylight hours during the lunar month of Ramadan, giving to charity, and, if you have the money, taking a pilgrimage to the holy city Mecca at least once in your life. Byers hasn't been to Mecca yet, but he did take part in the fast of Ramadan for the first time. Not eating that period of the day teaches you discipline and it just, I guess, knocks you down a step and makes you realize, you know, what it is like for those people that can eat. This was just one of many firsts for Byers, but he says that still it's been easy to adjust to this faith. That's because he feels the fundamental values of peace, charity, and goodwill were already a part of his character. So just, just coming into it, I guess, would be just changing from the way I was to knowing that's how I was. Maybe it was more of a coming to understand the way I am. Islam is what is with you all the time. You were born with it. It's, uh, in Arabic, we call it fitra. It's that which is part of you. They started walking the walk of Islam when they were ready for it. Byers says it's important for people to learn a bit about Islam, even if it's nothing more than to clear away misconceptions that peg Islam as a religion of terror. Byers says if people incorporate the goals and aims of Islam into their lives, like him, they might find some peace they didn't even know they were searching for. Sarah Trainer, CBC News, Fredericton.